please. Oh, that was a good hit. Uh, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Go away. Yeah. <gasps> Holy crap. All right, how's it going guys? I'm the Cuba Gamer and welcome back to RL Craft, the 2.9 update, where I think I may have kind of figured something out that I completely forgot was a thing in this mod pack and I'm kind of upset that I didn't realize this sooner. So in the last episode, we've been kind of exploring the lost cities and we kind of kept dying a lot. So that kind of led us into trying to prepare ourselves a pretty decent set of armor. Now, unfortunately, I ran out of experience levels pretty quickly. So we only managed to get some stuff on the boots. And it's, it's, there's still more that I can even add to it. Although it's going to be an absolute pain to actually try and do. So <laughs> I got I to gotta get a lot more experience. So here's kind of like a lazy man's way of how I'm going to do this. At night, blight creatures. Those things drop quite a bit of experience, about like 30 levels per kill, depending on which ones you do. Yeah, they are pretty effective at getting experience, especially during a blood moon, by the way. Seriously, one of those things, you can get so much experience out of that. I got like 70 levels one night. It was freaking awesome. Uh, but yeah, that means we kind of have to wait for nighttime, and I completely forgot this was a thing. Yeah. Hammocks exist. And the really cool thing about a hammock is that whenever you sleep in it, you can only sleep in it during the day. Whenever you sleep in this thing, it'll actually turn to night. So can I sleep into this real quick? What do you mean I can only sleep during the day? It's not even nighttime yet. What? Oh, it's basically nighttime, seriously? Hold on, is it gonna let me sleep in the bed? I can only sleep at night. So it's someplace we're stuck in limbo. That's cool, okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, either way, if it was daytime and you slept in the hammock, you just got to shift right click for this guy to actually work because if you don't, you'll just sit on it and you can, it's kind of weird to do that, but yeah. So you got to shift right click on it. You'd sleep and it'll skip over tonight. So that's kind of an easy way to get creatures to spawn. So that way you could try and find blight creatures and even get yourself some experience. I didn't do a lot of that before we started today. I only got like what, maybe three XP tones filled. Yeah. But that is definitely going to be probably the way we do it for now until we end up discovering ourselves a new XP farm. So for today's episode, here's kind of what I'm wanting to do. I want to go back into the Lost Cities. So I've been looking up a little bit more stuff on it. And it turns out, I don't know if this has been patched in the most recent update or not. I don't know for sure. But apparently if you have an invis potion you can go in there and actually survive without being detected. Although you will probably still suffer the effects of all the parasite stuff. But if we actually just take ourselves a set of armor, it shouldn't be that bad. But either way, that means that I need to start working with trying to be an alchemist and a brewmaster, essentially. So for all you guys who have been wanting me to do the wine stuff, well, today might actually be that episode. But that does mean, however, that we do need to make ourselves some invis potions normally. So there are a couple of ways that we could do that. We could just make regular potions of invisibility, which is just a night vision potion with a fermented spider eye. So yeah, either way, I think it's about time we finally get ourselves set up with a couple of brewing stands here and some cobblestone. If I could actually find some cobblestone, there we go, okay. You know, I think this is like maybe the first time I'm ever going to do brewing in these kind of things. Okay, that's not how you do it. That's how you do it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, where should I put the? You know what? Actually, no, no, no. I'll put them up here. Yeah, so that's, I mean, this is kind of like this is brewing is also like kind of an alchemy process. And eh, we'll do that up here too. I need one more. So I'm not saying that this is going to be like our answer to everything in the Lost Cities dimension, but it is something that I do kind of want to test out with it. I mean, honestly, I'm just going to go in there with nothing again and see what actually happens. You never know. Uh, so I do have to do a couple of things to make these potions. I'll admit it has been a long time since I've done this. Uh, Nether Wart, which, oh crap, do I even have any of that stuff? I may not. 
Um, well, I do have some fermented spider eyes. Do I seriously not have any nether wart whatsoever? Oh. Well, that's a little bit of an issue. Okay, crap. Um. So, crap, I gotta head in the nether real quick to grab some. Oh, that's stupid. You know, I did kind of forget. It is a really good thing that our portal is quite literally <laughs> right next to a freaking nether wart farm. Okay, okay. Um, I mean, I guess I'll replant it. Wait. That gave me no extra? Wait, are none of these grown? That one is. Hey, little baby Craig, you want to screw off? Thank you. You're not even supposed to be in here. Stupid. Okay. You know, I don't remember. Can you, like, actually grow nether wart with, uh... Uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Can you grow nether wart with bone meal? Is that a thing? Probably not. Like, I, I honestly could not tell you. How did I end up with less than what I had? Oh. Okay, never mind. I'm stupid. Uh, but yeah, what the heck? Okay. <laughs> uh, nothing there. I want to kind of get up a lot just in case I end up running out pretty quickly. I don't know. There might be another nether war form around here, but eh, I'm not holding my hopes up. 12 seconds later. Okay, there we go. 64 should be more than enough for what I need. So let's see if we can make it back to our portal. What is that? What is that? Oh, okay. No, no, that's not, that's not an entity. That was, it was this thing. Okay. I thought it was like a freaking player with like diamond gear or something like that. That actually kind of concerned me there for a second. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's, uh, where, where, where did I go? Where did I even come from? I actually have no idea. Ow. Okay, so it said I needed some golden carrots, so let's go ahead and get this going. I want to try and get as many potions as possible because I feel like I'm definitely going to need an absolute crap ton of them. That should be enough. Um, I need fermented spider eyes too. Those are going to be the issue, trying to get these things. Yeah, mushroom, spider eye, and sugar. Sugar is unfortunately something I don't quite have. Okay. So crap, how, uh, I got plenty of spider eyes. Yeah, just not really sugar. Okay, okay. Oh, and mushrooms. Well, I mean, I got some mushrooms. Let me check over here. Maybe some mushroom can grow, possibly. I mean, a little bit. I mean, I'll take it. I think that's enough for what I need. Yeah, it should be fine. That should be fine. Okay. Ferment the spider eyes. That should be more than enough for what I need. I'm going to need some redstone. I think that's basically everything I need to make our Celsius Invis potions. At least I'm really hoping so. So, can I... No, nope, you can still only do one at a time. Dang it. Oh, well. Uh, let's split this up into five. So, boom. No, boom, thank you. Boom, 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 and boom. Okay, so then just a fur, no, 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 nether wart first. Nether wart first. No, no, not all of it, just freaking one. There we go. Nether wart, boom, boom, boom. Nether wart, boom, boom. And nether wart? Wait, I do this right? Missing one? No? No? Aqua potion, aqua potion. Okay. Doing it right. It's kind of surprising. I mean, this is a vanilla feature. You'd think I know this stuff, but honestly, I just don't. <laughs> All right. Um, excuse me. Why isn't this working? Did I already screw up? Potion of weakness, no, wait. Oh, no, 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 the, uh, the, no, 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 yeah, yeah, the fermented spider eye was for the actual invis. Okay, okay, whoops. Hold on. Now the golden carrot is first. So, yeah, we go and do the golden carrot. Boom. Boom. And boom. And this should turn into a night vision potion. Then we can make it into an invis potion. I think, I hope, I really hope. So, night vision? 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now we do the fermented spider eye. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. Cool. Yep. There it is. Potion of invisibility. Okay. So it does. Uh, I did get it right. Thank you. And then the redstone should make it last longer. At least I hope so. The really cool thing is I should be able to stack these. I think. I'm pretty sure you should be able to stack these potions now. I'm almost entirely certain on that. Yeah, potion invisibility, eight minutes. Yep. You can only stack eight at a time, unfortunately, but you know what? That's still pretty freaking good, so I will take that. Okay, so we got 15 potions of invisibility. Not too shabby, I might say. All eight minutes, so that's like, what, eight times, eight times 15? I don't want to do the math. Um, number that's higher than 18? Probably. And it's whatever. Okay, anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can you guys tell I'm like really, really great at math? You know, this is like, you know, it's whatever. It's fine. Okay, anyway. Uh, so now what? Now what should I do? I should do... Okay, okay, okay. I should do... I should do brewing stuff. Not potion stuff, but like actual uh, wine stuff. Because I still don't quite understand how to get the good stuff probably going to need our almanac here so yeah there's still all sorts of uh good stuff you got your elixirs brewing alcoholic beverages yeah each one does something like a little bit different so it's kind of weird okay can we hold on so alcoholic beverages okay so it just tells you everything. Iron Wine grants drinker absorption hearts with no time limit. Oh. Huh. That's not bad. Cider applies magic resistance effect, which is magical damage. Okay. Ale is very saturating drink and it applies a full stomach effect while decreases damage taken from starvation. Okay. Not too bad. And then regardless of quality, eh, that actually doesn't say it. Wait, what about just regular wine? Okay, because I know the wild, uh, the wild berry one, that one actually makes pretty decent wine. That one increases the time of your potion effects, which is kind of like essential. I do have some right here. It's only quality 7.5, but I don't know how to make it any better if I even can. So I guess I need to make a crushing tub to do this. Right? At least that's what I'm going to assume here. I don't want to look at a video. I kind of want to like actually figure out how to do this myself. So let me see. So crushing tub, let me check. Okay, pretty easy to make. Uh, nope. Okay, I did not mean to do that. Give me this, thank you. Let me see, some iron. So, oh, make these first. I guess I should make do I really need to make more than one? I don't know for certain. Um, we'll throw the crushing stuff right over here. How about that? So from that point, you just throw in the berries or whatever you're wanting to crush and it should crush. So do I have any wild berries already? No, I do not. Okay, crap. I do have olives. I don't think that's going to be... <laughs> What I actually need to use. Uh, crap. Let me go see if I can find some wild berries real quick. It's nighttime. Might as well also try and get a few levels. Oh, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Wild berries didn't do that. I just realized. Okay, no, no, no. Wild berries. No, yeah, they don't. No, they increase the level. That's not what I'm looking for. Crap. No, no, no. no. I'm looking for duration. And it's not that one. Was it grapes? I think it might be. Grapes can be eaten, take. Grapes can be made by crushing grapes into a crunchy. We can be drank to a bottle and then brewed into wine. Okay, but it doesn't say what kind of wine. What the heck? Uh, did this place over here have a thing? No, it doesn't look like it did. Okay, okay. Uh, there are plenty of other villages though. I'm sure we can find a lot of grapes. Three hours later. Okay. I think that's all the grapes I'm going to be able to get from this. 
Yeah. Uh, let's go and return on home. If I can actually use a warp scroll for once. Thank you. Okay. So do, do I just? I think I just like throw them in the crusher, and that's all I do, right? Like I think that's what the almanac, almanac basically said. So boom. Oh. What? Oh, what? Okay. A stack here. So I just jump. Yep. Do I have to do this 64 times? Do I seriously have to do this 64 times? <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, I mean, it's going. I mean, how do you know whenever it's done? Is it just like a full stack? It's just one crusher thing, right? Okay, I think it's full. I'm not hearing the crushing sound, so. Six, seven. I think I could probably hold some more. Oh, well, it only did like a half stack. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So a half stack makes the entire thing. And it gives us seven bottles of grape juice. Okay, okay. We do have a couple more bottles over here too. Um, did I really just like waste all of these? I guess I did. So, wait, what? I swear I thought you could empty them out like that. I guess not. Okay, well, crap. I guess I'm making new bottles. Okay. Okay, so whenever it stops making the squishing sound, that's whenever you could actually hear if it's doing the if it's uh, done. So yeah, it does use 32 of them. Okay, okay. Now there's a way to do this to where you get like better quality stuff. Uh, the first time I did it, it was absolute crap quality. So how do you make quality wine? Yeah, quality is 7.5. Is that like as high as you can go? I don't know. Hey, it doesn't quite say. Okay, so... I'm not quite understanding this. It says that what you need to do is basically add a starter to it of the same type. So like a bottle, I would just take a bottle of wine and the quality on it would be like the starter for it. I think, hold on, let me try it with the wild berry stuff. This might actually help out a little bit. Let me try this. So this one right here. So the starter, if I throw the starter in here, I can just throw the one in there and then the wild berry juice, I can just throw in there. And then after 10 minutes, it takes 10 minutes to do this, which is by the way, very stupid. So if I did this correctly, then it should, basically the quality cannot go past or go under 0.69, I think, I think, but it can also go, it can also go up. I hope, <laughs> I don't know. This is all very confusing. So do I just have to like keep brewing different grape juice until I get like a really, really good quality stuff. And then I would use the good stuff as a starter to make more of the good stuff. At least that's kind of what I'm assuming here. I don't know. I kind of want to let that go and see if that's actually going to be the case or not. Oh, it's going to take absolutely for, uh, forever. Let's go ahead and do one bottle of this stuff and we'll see how far that's actually going to go. Now, while we are waiting for our wine to go ahead and do its thing, though, I was kind of looking through the comments of the last episode. And you know what? I do think I have a name picked out for Armor Rock. I do think I have a name picked out. So I want to go ahead and thank Boxo YT for the name suggestion because it is a very, very nice name and it gave me a pretty good laugh and I think it'll fit Armor Rock pretty well. So we are going to name him Cabbage. We're naming him Cabbage. I know it sounds really stupid, but you know what? He's a big old green dinosaur and thing. So I think Cabbage might actually fit. Don't run away. I'm trying to name you. So boom. All right, can I can I get off? Thank you, please. Cabbage. <laughs> I don't know why it's. I'm so used to seeing like the large name, like the QB Gamers Maroc or whatever, and now it's just this. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I do love it. 
Okay, Cabbage, I will start trying to call you that for now on instead of Maroc. That's going to get our getting used to because I'm so used to calling you guys freaking Marocs, but you know what? You're a Cabbage now, okay? You're a Cabbage. Now, while we continue waiting for our wine to do its thing, by the way, how is this going? Eh, I mean, it's a little over halfway. I do kind of want to bring up a little bit something. It's been kind of been on my mind, especially from uh, the last episode. So, guy, guys, I, I really do appreciate all your guys' feedback from the comments on my videos. I really, really do. But whenever I see you guys, like, yelling at me for doing things that I normally do, like, I, I don't know. It just, I feel bad for saying it because I know they're just, like, I know they're, you guys are just trying to help me. But it, it hurts sometimes. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to make this, like, a huge deal. But I just want you guys to understand, like, I make mistakes. It's a thing that happens. I'm not going to do everything in this playthrough absolutely perfectly. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to try and learn from them. I'm going to try and do better every single time. Even if it may not seem like a lot, I'm still going to try. I, like, I'm still learning. I'm still learning a lot of stuff, especially all the stuff in this new 2.9 update. There's just so many things, so many brand new things that I still have no idea how in the world I'm supposed to go about. I don't like looking up how to do things because I really like the idea of discovering stuff for myself because if I automatically just learn how to do everything by watching videos, then I'm just playing the game from them. Kind of get what I mean there? Like, I like the idea of me figuring out how to do this stuff. So that way it actually feels like I'm the one playing the game. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, like I said, I, I really do appreciate it. I really do. Just please don't get too upset at me by some of the mistakes that I make because it's, they're going to keep happening. And I, there's really just no sense in to keep like bombarding me <laughs> about that kind of stuff. But again, I really do appreciate all the help that you guys have given me with some of the stuff though. I promise I read all the comments and that's why I'm also bringing this up because I've seen all those comments too. But yeah, uh, either way, I'm, I'm still just a person. I make mistakes. It happens. Please forgive me. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it did work. Interesting. So yeah, here we go. It was point uh, quality is point seven six. Okay. Um. Well, this is just about done. Come on, just show me what it is. I need a good quality, please. Please. Actually, hold on. Uh, while it's doing that, what did it say it would be at from the beginning? Uh, starter culture tank will produce an output with a random qu uh, quality between 0 0.05 and 0 0.75. Okay, okay, okay. So that's without a starter, right? Yeah, brewing without any fluid in the starter culture tank will produce an output with a random quality between 0 0.05 or 0 0.75. Okay, okay. So uh, 0 0.53, that's actually positive. Yeah, if it's below 0 0.5, that's whenever it gets bad. So that's not bad. Okay, okay. And then I could just pick this back up. There we go. So I guess I can just try and brew as many as I can and try and get the best one that I possibly can. So we'll set up a couple of these to see if we can get a quality of about seven. 0.7. I want to get like at least 0.7. And then we'll use those for starters, and we should be good. At least that's kind of what I'm hoping here. So it doesn't use this Wildberry wine, so that's kind of interesting. So let me go ahead and grab that. Um, crap, I need more glass bottles. <laughs> I completely wasted all of my glass bottles on making water bottles. Okay, so let me grab the rest of this. So now I can take this back. Yeah. And then I can throw one of the new quality ones into here. And then I could try doing the Wildberry wine again. Can I throw can I throw this like back in here? No. It's kind of weird that you can even do that in the first place, but yeah, it's fine. So okay, okay. Oh Wildberry Wildberry wine. I have like God, there's so many. I have so many different things. 
So bottle of wine, right, the 53. So we got to let these go so that way we can see what we get. Okay, okay. I think I'm kind of understanding this. I do think I'm kind of getting it. Although it is very, very, very time consuming. So, yeah. Um, why do I still have a name tag that says cabbage? Hello? Cabbage? Oh, what? No. No, stay on the guy. Okay. Does that mean it gave it to him? Right? Are we good? Can I dismiss you now without having an issue? It's not saying that I can rename them. Okay. I hope that he'll stay a cabbage. I really, really hope so. <laughs> okay. So while that's doing its thing up there, I kind of do want to try going back into the Lost Cities. It's not going to be a good idea. It really just isn't. And we're going to see if maybe the invisibility potion thing works. And of course, there's cabbage to name tag. Okay. I don't know what's going on with the freaking name tag. That's kind of really good on my nerves. I guess it's not working the way that I thought it would. And yeah, it's fine. So let's take everything off here. Throw everything back up into here. Uh, let me, it's really, it's only 13 levels. It's really not that much. Yeah, it's fine. So they say to take one of the invisibility potions before you head in there, because it could be pretty bad if you try and do it while you're already in there. So is there anything else that I need? I don't know if I'm going to be able to take my Maroc in there or not. I actually have no idea. I have warp scrolls already in there with an ender chest, so hopefully that won't be much of an issue. Okay. Kind of worried about doing this. Just a wee bit. Eh, I mean, eh, I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? Honestly, what's the worst that's going to happen? The worst has already happened. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Uh, let's go and take this boy. Let's see if we're good. I hope this hat doesn't give me away. <laughs> oh, that is so stupid. <laughs> I hope that didn't give me away. All right. So I should be fine, right? Oh, I hated that noise. I really, okay. Um, if I break a block, no, I still have my invisibility. Okay. Yeah, I tried putting something up here. Okay. Oh, fear. Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 fear. I forgot something. Oh, okay, I forgot something. I did forget something. Uh, let me head back real quick. I want to grab... Okay, I, what I want to do is I want to grab a full set of silver armor just in case just in case i need to get rid of an effect uh so crap i do have some silver already so that's good we can just do a full set of this stuff and no matter what this will give me the movement speed yeah all that stuff that i need uh let's try and make that just a little bit better i really rather not have that okay that's whatever this doesn't need to be perfect. It does not need to be perfect. This is just something that we put on just in case of emergencies. Okay. Grab ourselves a warp scroll. And I think we're good now. Yeah, I have the fear three again. Oh, God. Oh, what? What is that? No, no, no. What? in the world it saw me uh, uh oh it breaks blocks did he break the waystone no please go away 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 no 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 uh oh so i don't like this you spawn hello Okay, I'm scared. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? 
Okay, come on. No! Come on! No, 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 no. No, just let me... Mm. Let me get up here. Okay, this thing needs to not exist. I'm gonna run all the way over here. You can come do whatever you want to me over here, okay? Just gonna keep running. Still following me. God, I hate that thing. I hate that. I hate it. I don't like you. I don't even know what that is. I don't like that. What the heck was that? I haven't. It was an egg. Okay. No, he has my silver armor. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, try this. I missed. Crap. Hold on. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. No, God. Mm. I hate those things. Nope, nope. It's fine. It's fine. I jump. Just let me on the thing. Just let me. Just quit hitting me for one second. Oh, my God. Let me jump on the stupid thing. You suck. I hate this. I hate this. Go away for one second. Okay. I don't even know where the warp scroll is. There it is. Okay. Oh my God. Let me live. <sighs> Come on. Come on. What even? Come on. Warp scroll. I don't even know what that is. Okay, whatever. Oh, that is so stupid. Okay, I don't care. It's fine. At least we made it out of there. So what the heck? The invisibility didn't work. Why did that happen? God, I have called the hive again. Let me freaking throw on some armor real quick. Get rid of that stupid thing. That is so stupid. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. What the heck? What even? What even? So am I even able to like do anything now? I'm trying to go in there? Like what the heck? Uh, I mean, I could try this again. I mean, I guess. We'll give it one more go. If they spot me immediately, I'm going to be very, very upset. All right, let's try it. Please? Please? Okay. They aren't noticing me. So that's good. I got to make sure. Oh, crap. Nope. I have to be completely invisible. I'm pretty sure. Uh, there are these potions. Okay. Okay. Why is there a floating bed there? <laughs> okay, that's cool, I guess. All right. Oh, I hate this. Okay, okay. So how do I get stuff? I got the stupid call the hive debuff again. The heck are you? I really hope you guys can't see me. Hey, that noise. Okay. Uh, of course, it's locked. Okay. 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 Yeah. No duh, I have fear. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. So I can actually open stuff. Ooh. Okay. Six minutes. Six minutes. So you can do this. I just don't know why they were able to see me earlier. 
God, I hate these things. I hate that. Oh! Wait. Really? Really? That was stupid. Okay, give me one of these. Okay. You know what? Screw that. The, I ain't getting that stuff back, that's for sure. Let's go back home. So that didn't work the way I was hoping it would. I guess I got too close to him. But, like, what, what else can you do? I kind of had to to be able to get away from him. Like, what the heck? That was weird. Okay, Violet Avia, hello. H how's my wine stuff doing? How's this stuff doing? Uh, nope, still going. Actually, not too much time left. Okay, cool. Okay, I think these should be done now. Yep. Quality, 0 0.58. 0 0.74! <laughs> okay, that's really good. That's really good. Uh, 0.21, that's bad. 0.7, not bad. 0.56... 0.11. Okay, so that 0.74. Where'd it go? Yep, that's going to be the wine that basically gives us all sorts of really, really good stuff. So I'm going to take this one out, 0.74, and then all the grape juice is going to... Well, yeah, we'll just do a whole set for now and see where that goes. But this should be basically better. It's possible it could be worse by like 0.1, but maybe not. Maybe. So I do have this 0.7 quality wine right here that I'm not going to use because like it's not going to make my stuff better than what I already have. So I kind of want to test out how long of a durability will this actually give me in terms of this. I don't know for sure. Um... Actually, hold on. Now that I think about it, we have the wild berry wine too. So if I were to drink these, say, in combination, so let me see. So in this pot for eight minutes, and then I do the bottle of wine. That increased it by eh, like a minute and forty seconds, I guess. Oh wait, no, 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 wait. No, 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 only like 40 seconds. What the heck? And I'm inebriated, so that's cool. And then I drink this in combination. And then boom, everything is on two. But I do have the inebriated two. Uh, that can kind of screw some things up. So we're just going to go ahead and do this real quick. Yeah, now inebriation should be on. And then we could go ahead and throw this off and then put this back on. And there we go. Now I have everything plus two or everything like level two with some duration to it. So you have to use them in a combination. So it's the wine and the wild berry wine. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a lot of work, but I think it might actually be worth it. Who knows? Okay. So before we do end it today, I do think it's time that we do our prerequisite Doom like dungeon. So where do I go? I don't know. I moved all like the most or well, most all the zero places like over here. And I left this one over here because I'm stupid. Uh, where can I go? Do I want to go to the Breslau the, the place again? I don't, I don't know for sure. Maybe Jarmard? Possibly. Yeah, we could probably do that. All right, let's try it. I may have just found one. Have I been in this one? I I don't think I have. Oh, there's something there. No, have I really not been here? I guess not. And of course we got the googly eye guardian. Those things are really freaking weird. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, by the way, for experience, I mean, yeah, the night thing still works with like getting the blight mobs and everything too, but clearing out underwater doom like dungeons it's also a pretty decent way of getting experience. It's really not bad. It's not like the best, but just one of these things will probably get you around to like level 40 if you're like avidly going after spawners and everything. So it's still not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, you're a legendary guy. Oh, crap. Um, so, dude, quit being invisible. Stop being invisible. Stop. 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 Let me hit you. Come on. 
please yes he's barely taking any like anything go away go away where'd he go over here go away come on keep taking the damage keep taking the damage he has life steal that doesn't help why must you suck for yourself can you do that please oh that was a good hit uh where'd he go where'd he go where'd he go go away yeah <gasps> holy crap holy crap we just got that it's horrible but we just got that the greater or the stone of greater inertia that is apparently as we discovered in the last stream the most recent one that that is like one of the rarest items you can get are you freaking kidding me what are the chances of that of me getting that after talking about that in the last stream took my spear what the heck what in the world okay a hundred percent plus movement speed kind of curious on that um uh okay i can't see crap like that okay okay i don't i don't know what to replace can i put it in the offhand oh it's hard to tell ow and it's hard to tell for sure if it's like actually being used or not i can't right click with it ow sirens why oh my god i hate you all I hate him. I hate him. Oh, you guys are loud. Why are you so loud? Hold on. Let me fix that. That was really freaking loud. Better? Eh, kind of, I guess, a little bit. That was stupid. <laughs> Jeez, what the heck? Why was this so loud? Okay. So, yeah, it's not showing up there. Let me put it here. Oh, heck yes. Oh, that is so good. And I could jump so high. That is insane. Oh my God. How did we manage to find that? Like, seriously. What do I, what do I replace with it? Like, I don't know. I mean, for now, I'm going to do that because I really want to like keep messing with this. It doesn't increase my speed underwater, which is fine because I'm already, I'm fine with my speed now, but like, holy crap, man. God, I cannot believe we got that today. Holy crap. Okay. I'm thinking then that is probably everything that's gonna be in this one. So, do I do one more or do I head on back? Uh. I should probably only do... Nah, I should probably head on back. Yeah. I don't want to lose the stone of greater inertia. This thing's like way too to get uh, too good to get rid of. Where's my thingy? Actually, did I even hit my bed? Anytime recently? I don't know. We're about to find out. I did. Okay, cool. Oh my god. <laughs> I moved so fast in my jump height. Oh my god. That is so good. I love this thing. I'm so glad we found this today. I still can't believe that. This is so stupid. I love it. Uh, now let's see. Did this do anything at all? Now it's almost done. It is just about done. Okay, okay. Please be like a lot better quality. Please. And like be done. You're like really just right there. Right? You are basically right there. Come on. All right, fine. Uh, what do I use to actually reforge this thing? Hold on. Do you use spectral silt? No, you do not. Can you even make this thing? I don't know. I don't think you can. Stone of greater inertia. Yeah, there's also the negative gravity, the inertia null one. Which is just like you have no fall damage at all. And then this one. You can't make it. Uh, it's maybe glowing ingots or gold. I don't know. 
Let's try to put you back in here. Glowing ingots. <laughs> yeah, like I need any more extra speed. No, I need I need hardy. I gotta get the hardy. Well. I mean I could always make more glowing ingots if I really want to. Do I really need that extra jump height? I really don't. <laughs> God, that is so insane. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, let's see how our wine is doing. 0.76. So it's slightly better. <laughs> okay, cool. So that means we can take this out of here. I can then empty that out. Get one of this, throw this back into here. So now we have 0.76 quality. And now I can make more wine and take this stuff. Yeah, I think we're good. Nice. Okay, well, you know what? I do think I need to go ahead and end it there for today's episode. So, invisibility in the Lost Cities kind of works. Kind of. It's not great. Yeah, there are some issues with it. You just have to be... You got to be really, really careful for that. And I don't know if I'm quite ready to do that. I want to prepare a little bit better. See if we can figure out the wine stuff just a little bit more to make sure we could actually get like the best duration on the invisibility that we possibly can. And actually, now that I think about it, hold on. There is a particular thingy here. Stealth. Right. Sneaky decreases mob detection range. We might pick that up. We might actually pick that up. How much, how fast am I with speeding? Eh. Or when sneaking, it's not really, eh, it's whatever. Either way, I still can't believe we found this freaking stone of greater inertia. This thing's freaking awesome. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. I love the movement speed. I love the jump height. It is absolutely freaking insane. We could probably go higher with it too, with a couple of other bobbles, but we're not, I think, I'm pretty sure this is fine the way it is. I don't think we exactly need any more. At least I don't think so. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe we might test this limit. See, like, how high you can actually jump. So, in the next episode, I'm going to try and get a lot of experience already collected and that kind of stuff. And then maybe we are going to go and try finding ourselves a lot of good villagers. Because, again, I still need a lot of enchantments if I want to survive with good silver armor in there. Maybe I might actually start working on the Forgotten Runes, possibly. See if we can try and get ourselves some Golem armor. That may not be a bad idea because Golem armor is like still apparently, well now at least the best in the game. At least I believe so. So we may actually check that out. I don't know. Either way. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel so you guys can catch up on the rest of the series. Also, there is a link to my Discord in the description below if you guys want to check that out. It's a place where you guys can all talk amongst yourselves and also get new updates on videos and live streams. So it's pretty freaking cool. So, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day today, and you all are awesome.